comeback after the public shooting that was reported from Begusarai extortion bid in Muzaffarpur and a murder in Bhagalpur. So Shasan has gone for a toss in Bihar. Now, when the chief minister was asked about the lack of action so far, he laughed and said it happens. That was the first reaction of the chief minister over the incident. Aditya is joining us live with more details on what's happening in Bihar. Aditya, the opposition has been saying Jungal Raj and there are several incidents that have been reported as well in quick succession. First was the shooting in Begusarai. It's been over 45 hours. There has been not a single arrest. A businessman who has spoken of an extortion bid and a murder of a businessman as well that has been reported from Bhagalpur. What's happening? Well, exactly. As far as the three cases are concerned, of course, they happened in quick succession. It, it, the first incident was reported in uh, Begusarai, wherein mass shootings were observed, and that uh, we have been told that more than two, uh, most likely four uh, armed assailants actually uh, entered Begusarai district from Samastipur border and they just went on a rampage spree on NH28 and NH31, and they encompassed at least five uh, police stations of the district before vanishing. In, near Patna border. So interesting to note here is that the police has been clueless as far as the uh, uh, entire investigation is concerned because they have been able to only detain five people and they are being questioned. So no arrest has been made so far and that they have actually released some photographs and they have announced bounties over uh, two key accused persons. So that being said, this is the first case and that apart uh, from Muzaffarpur, there was an instance of uh, a businessman who actually complained of an extortion bid and uh, an FIR, a named FIR has been registered but no arrest has been secured so far. And last but not the least, in Bhagalpur, a businessman, a silk trader was actually called out of his house by uh, unknown persons and he was actually shot dead multiple times. He was shot and uh, we've been told that multiple used cartridges were found lying on the entire place and even the SP of Bhagalpur categorically accepted that this appears to be a premeditated murder and not something like uh, uh, any other thing. So that being said, the three instances have categorically said the same thing and they point out to the same thing that the district police is first of all failing as far as the deterrent part is concerned and second of course the investigations too are leading to nowhere because no arrest, no subsequent breakthrough have been observed in all these places and this is the reason that that is the main reason behind the opposition's entire yes. slugfest on the government So and even the government is now responding to. So there has been a verbal exchange between fact, the opposition and the talking about the reaction Mahara. of the uh, chief minister as well, Aditya, the one common link in all three cases is that there does not seem to be any fear of law and order. In the first case as well, for 40 minutes this uh, mayhem went on. The two men with the guns out on the streets in broad daylight. In this case as well, a daring murder that has taken place. So the common link seems to be that there is no fear of law and order. And the the first reaction of the chief minister that came in as well was him smiling. When he was asked about this incident, he smiled and he said, Haan, ho gaya. Well, exactly. I mean, as far as the, uh, uh, the episode of the thing that uh, the police is not able to contain the law and order uh, or maintain the law and order in the district is concerned, of course, the district police have categorically failed as far as uh, uh, law as a deterrent uh, uh, is uh, considered. But then, of course, if at all they are not able to deter, they are not even able to investigate and to bring to book the actual carpenters behind this. Okay, all right, Aditya, thank you for joining us with those details. We'll continue coming back to you as and when there are any updates or arrests or headway in the case. Uh, thank you for joining us.